Hi everyone, Angie Smith here. Thank you for watching. Welcome back. I have my um, weekly fragrance empties, what I've been warming. Um, since I'm kind of caught up, I think I should be able to get through this with Vendor and Scentsy, but we'll start with Scentsy first. Um, so if you watched my um, weekly um, melting basket, I um, just started this. Um, so I purchased two candle crocks. Um, I, I'm loving them. I've done some different tests, um, you know, melting wax in them. I've melted candles. Um, I just found like, I like candles and I'm not opposed fully to, um, burning them with, um, a flame, but, and I understand it makes soot and things like that. Um, it's not the healthiest and I don't like that smell when you blow them out. But I only burn candles when I'm planning to stay in the main area for a longer period of time because I don't like to leave them unattended. Um, so you're talking maybe Saturday, Sunday, and then through the week I don't, I don't do them. But I do love candles. And so what I decided to do to help me get through them is to um, get the candle crocs. And so my thought with it is I have a candle crock in my main living space, my open concept. And then I put a candle crock in the bathroom because that area is so hard to scent. And again, you can do wax in there like a warmer, not directly in your candle crock. So basically it's like a vessel that um, perfectly fits actually this like bath and body works. That's what I call like my vessel. And I have been, um, I saved like four of these to use, um, for wax melts and then, um, you know, also candles coming in. I actually just pulled this out of the freezer and popped out the wax and then now I can recycle this. Um, cause what you don't want to do after you put your candle in a candle crock is light it because everything underneath like melts and warms and it releases that glue that the wicks are sticking and now they're kind of floating. So it's just really unstable and you don't want to light that afterwards once you throw it in a crock. And what I am finding too with the candle crocks is a good week you can get out of your candle um, too to let that scent out and it just kind of helps boost your scent of your wax melts and especially in an open concept area to give you that extra boost of scent. So um, last week I decided to go with this theme which is sweet orange and agave. This is a Bath and Body Works Evervescent Citrus Golden Agave and Jasmine Musk. So this is a really sweet orange sweet summer orange. I like this. I would buy this again. And, um, I picked coordinating scents to warm all week long. Um, whether it be in my open, my entryway or my bathroom, that kind of area to, cause you could smell that with the orange. I melted Scentsy's exploding, uh, bonbons from the Harry Potter Honey Dukes. Uh, honestly, this is probably about a medium throw in my open. Um, I picked up a few of this collection because I absolutely loved a few of the scents. And um, this is one that's just okay with it. Um, so I have like a couple more bars to finish up. Uh, but it is a medium throw. So, but it did well with my theme. I warmed also mango matcha. Um, which is probably about a medium throw in my open as well. It's kind of nice. I feel like sometimes with the medium throws, I like stronger throws, but sometimes with the medium, it's kind of good, especially when you have company over. So it's not so in your face. Mango matcha is just kind of like a picture, like an orange matcha kind of tea scent. And that's what I get. I know it's more mango but that mango orange kind of comes through to me and then um caramel sugar cone that was really nice you had the orange and then this caramel sugar cone going on 
I do like this um, quite a bit. Um, it is more of a medium throw for me in my open, but I do like it. The other scents that I warmed um, were Tangerine Mangoes from Sassy Girl Aroma. And um, this is fantastic. The throw on this is amazing. I do know that this scent is one, um, when she offered it, that was a discontinued oil at that time. So I don't even think even when she comes back that this is one that she can get. But it is excellent throw. Let's see, what else did I do with the sweet orange and agave? So I warmed uh, peach and grapefruit mimosa. This is a two-dayer for me. It is fantastic. Now I do turn my warmers off at night. I don't leave them on 24 seven in my open, but I did get like two full days of this. Um, what I consider full days. I turn them on um, probably around in between six and seven in the morning. And then I turn them off around eight o'clock at night. So I leave them on definitely over 12 hours a day. And this did fantastic both days. Um, this is one I wish I would have restarted my club for. And I'm hoping this comes back. But in the meantime, I do have a stockpile. I also warmed uh, Sunshine Mango. Uh, this actually is probably about a medium for me. And my open, um, I do like it. It's, it is... It is mango, but it reminds me of like peach rings a little. And that did well with my orange theme. Let's see what else do I have? There's the other peach and grapefruit mimosa. Peach and grapefruit mimosa, I noticed that this is super strong, long lasting, and it's gorgeous. You do, you get the grape, the grapefruit, not grape, grapefruit, you get peach. And I don't really get anything like mimosa wise as far as like effervescent or anything it's just a really good to me like peach grapefruit scent i hope that one returns i think that one was from the easter collection um i also warmed with my orange I'm trying to see what i did I did um, Lost in the Orange Grove from Teddy Bees. Um, so this scent reminds me a lot of Scentsy's, was that Lemon Mandarin, the one that just came out with the mental health awareness. Yeah, that's kind of, it's very similar. This is gorgeous. Um, I do get about a medium throw from this. So um, it did much better in my entryway, which is a smaller space, uh, but it went really good with all of the other orange and mango goodness. And this is um, lemongrass, basil, leaf, rosemary, clementines, and orange pill, and ambret. After that, I double bag a lot of my vendor wax um, because I think it helps so the scents don't bleed into each other. Um, I did warm orange sherbet, saltwater taffy. Um, this one was okay to me. Um, it did go with the theme. I don't know that this one I would repurchase. It's um, more orange sherbet forward. Um, and I'm funny. I'm kind of picky about my oranges. And then Walt's Huckleberries uh, from Sassy Girl Aroma, which is sweet huckleberry, pineapple, orange, strawberries, cotton candy, lemonade, and whipped cream. Um, this one was probably about a medium throw, so not a repurchase. And there's another Sunshine Mango. And I... I feel like that was everything I did with the sweet um, orange and agave. All right, so what else did I get through? I finished up a washer with and clothesline 
and um, I still have probably a couple um, the dryer sheets I'm not going through as fast because I'm using them for my towels uh, so I think I need to repurchase like a bundle of the clothesline um, and then just use it specifically for my towels but I do like clothesline definitely for um, towels it's great in the laundry um, Let's see, so I mixed uh, one to one in the same warmer, this um, Camu Camu and Angel Experiment 624. These do really well together. So Angel Experiment 624 is almost like a raspberry cotton candy. It's in the current catalog. And then the Camu Camu to me, it's, it's a Camu melon, but it just kind of reminds me of like a cantaloupe. And then I warmed alternating warmers. Uh, banana Leaf Bamboo and Wally Classified. Um, they're both like green, fresh green scents. Wally Classified reminds me, not fully, but a little bit, a little bit like Inhale, Exhale. And then uh, Banana Leaf and Bamboo is more like green. Green, definitely like a green spa-like scent. Closer to like a, what is it, sea salt and avocado? Is that what it is? I think so. All right, um, I had a province lavender that I got through and then a whipped vanilla lavender. This was one of my ones from my sister that was in the attic and it had like, it's kind of melty hot and cold kind of things. This is still, was still light. I did this in the entry. It wasn't bad there. Same thing. This is another one for my sister, the Scarlet Sunflower. I've almost worn through all of those wax bars. How gunky they were. And this, I don't think was as strong as it normally was. So I could tell a difference in those two bars. Um, I can't remember if this is returning into the catalog. I know that the cleaning is still there. I'll have to look at the wax bars again and see. I can't wait till my catalogs come in so I can have it in my hand to look at. Um, I did this mix before and honestly, I really enjoy it. Um, it is Circle of Life with Vitamin M. So Vitamin M is maybe a little sim similar to Province Lavender, which was the scent of the month for July. It's just a, this is a spa like lavender. And then the circle of life is almost like a, like a sandalwood. Um, but mixed together, they did really well. Good performance and I enjoy it. And then uh, kindness. Oh, this is beautiful. This was from the Mother's Day collection this year, and they even had like a flower. This was the prettiest scent. I didn't club this, because sometimes with floral, I, I have to be in the mood. I like floral scents, but again, I have to be in the mood. And it's just a pretty white floral. Um, so I did, I think I bought like three bars. And so I think I have two more after this. Um, this is one I would definitely repurchase if it comes back. Um, like I said, it's probably not club worthy for me, but really good. And then uh, Pink Pineapple and Sugar, which is the summer collection. I just find this one really pretty. It's like a sweet, almost like a pink sugar, pink sugar mixed with a pineapple, sweet pineapple. It's so pretty. All right. And then... Um, just a few more vendor wax items, and then um, that's pretty much it for the week. So, Beach Nights. Uh, this was for my friend Nancy. Thank you, Nancy. I'm almost done with this. That's what I did. I mixed this with the Province Lavender to try to do a Lavender Beach Nights. And honestly, the two together kind of like muted each other out, and I didn't smell much. But on their own, I can. That Province Lavender is so strong, and then the Beach Nights is so strong. So Beach Nights is a, it's a blend. You'll find it in 
a lot of vendor wax and it's from Bath and Body Works, but it's um, toasted mallow, sea salt breeze and chocolate graham cracker. So it's almost just like, like that toasty marshmallow and chocolate, really good. And that they, they blend it in a lot of blends. And then um, Tiffany's at the beach. One of my all time favorite scents from Sassy Girl Aroma. So this is Cupcakes at Tiffany's, which is like a toffee chocolate cupcake kind of scent with Beach Nights. So the same Beach Nights blend, those are those two together, which Cupcakes at Tiffany's is another like real popular vendor wax blend. And then um, Waverly, this was a sample from Pharmacist Daughter, which had pink chiffon, really pretty. I love pink chiffon and all things wax. Burning Desire. Uh, this was from Rose Girls. This was in, um, she had like a burn it down sampler, which is supposed to be like smoky type scent. So this was sweet lavender, tonka, myrrh, Egyptian musk, and black amber. And so she put this in the last pre-order and I had to warm it to see, do I really want this again? Because I loved it on cold. And it was gorgeous. It's a perfect lavender bedroom scent. Um, beautiful. And I bought um, three bags in that pre-order. That was the main reason I purchased. Uh, La La Land. This is also from Rose Girls. Definitely a repurchase if I see this come back. It was Peppermint Cotton Candy Frosting and Beach Nights. Again, the Beach Nights blend. Absolutely gorgeous. I had this in my entryway for at least three days and there it went through different levels. It was gorgeous. You had the peppermint and then you get that like cotton candy and then the beach nights all together is fantastic. Um, as far as throw, it filled my entry, but again, it's a small area, so I'm not sure how it would do in a, in a bigger area. Um, but I would repurchase it to find out because it was just a beautiful scent. And then Handsome Double. I actually warmed this in my candle crock in the bathroom, which is stainless steel, uh, SoCal, which is the Hollister type, and Coastal Kale and Amber. This was actually really nice. I don't know that I would necessarily repurchase it, but if I got it as a sample, I'd definitely warm it again. But it was really beautiful in the bathroom. And that's it. It's empty. That's everything I did this week. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you on my next one.